Hello and welcome. My name is Matthew Raymond Nunez. Today we're going to be unboxing the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. I recently bought this deck. I'm learning tarot and, and I found that this art style really appealed to me. So I am not going to lie, I did open it and I did flip through this tarot deck, but I figured I'd do it on camera for those of you who are interested in this deck or are looking for a good deck that follows the Rider Waite Smith imagery. On the front we have Temperance, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. So it's the same on the sides. Uh, 78 cards. So the same on the, on the front, and it's made in Italy. It costed me about $26, and the back has strength. Look at that imagery, just love, 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 love. So we're gonna start by opening the deck, and we are greeted with the guidebook. So we're gonna go through this later. That's a good reference if you're learning like me. We are greeted with this card, Temperance. Not the actual Temperance, just the cover card. We have a Tarot Association card with the Fool right there. Um, a special Tarot Invitation. Thank you for choosing this deck of magical cards. Receive insider information on your decks. Learn to develop confident readings from online video courses. Discover the meaning of the secret symbols in every card. Be the first to see new cards from forthcoming decks. Join the Worldwide Tarot Conversation. Yay! So it is a 15% off discount on your first year membership for tarotassociation.net. So I will look into this. Look at the backing. Look at, there's no gold on the backing, but I just think that is gorgeous. Beautiful artwork. So we have the Fool. So it has the number on the bottom. You can see the dog. I'm doing this as a part of bonding with my deck, so I'm taking a glance at the, the deck and seeing what sp stands out. And I gotta say, I love the pattern of the Fool's outfit. It's almost like a simplified version of the original Rider Waite. And I love the dog. What really caught my eye for this deck was the faces and how expressive they were. Just how clear they were. Because on the Rider Waite, you can get a general idea of a face, but usually they're not too defined. So here we should have the Magician see his face. What stands out to you? Let me know in the comment section about any of these cards. I mean, for me, it's the flowers at the bottom. The High Priestess. Okay. You can see the gold on the edges, B and J, and the Torah, and the cross right there on her neck. She's one of my favorite cards. Look at her. Look at her. Should have the Empress next. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look at her. I love the pattern on her dress and gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The Emperor. Aries. The Hierophant. Love that. I love how you can actually tell their um, students or people, because in some Rider Waite versions, they kind of just look like spots at the bottom. Um, I think in the Centennial version. Again, you can see the Triple Crown. And what stands out to me are the three crosses on him. And of course, his iconic staff, I want to say. The Lovers. I love, love this card. Let me see. Look at the colors in the angel's hair. I love that. The foil in the back. The chariot. Uh, look at them nails. Love that. I love the crescents he has on his shoulders. Those are gorgeous, and you can see his face saying, "Yeah, I've just tamed these sphinxes, and yeah, I'm unifying these forces." Love that. Strength. Love this. I saw the cover, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Of all the cards are like this, I'm totally gonna buy this, and they are. The Hermit. I like how gray it is. Um, I would have liked a little bit more blue in the leaves, but I cannot complain at all. The Wheel of Fortune. Love how detailed the Sphinx is uh, at the top, and how detailed I believe that is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, the four fixed signs of the Zodiac. Scorpio can be represented by the Raven or Phoenix. I believe it's the crow, the phoenix, or the scorpion, so justice. My card, the Libra card. 
Look at look at her face. Ah. Righteousness. The hanged man. I love this aura around him. That new perspective he has going on, like that profound information he's found. And I love how intricate this card is, especially with the twigs in the background and the leaves. Death. Death looks freaking awesome in this uh, deck. Look at that clergy member just reaching out and let's see, just oof. Love that. Oh, dead guy. Temperance. I love the colors in the angel's wings, and I love the aura around uh, the angel. With her foot soaked in there. The devil. So, well, this looks awesome. Some people think it's a scary card, but really it's not. You can take the chains off anytime you want. The tower. This is a scary card. No, I'm just kidding. This just means change. Um... But I love how the crown there, oh my gosh, there is a crown right there. And I love that symbolism. The star. The star definitely stands out. And there's like this, it, this one is interesting because it has blue in the gold, if you can see. The moon with the dog and the wolf and the crayfish slash lobster slash crab again with that blue gold background the sun such a happy card and that face is just gorgeous up there and the expression I think captures really what the sun card is all about judgment love the colors and the angel wings and the hair it's so expressive I love that they're not positioned like Frankenstein, the uh, the dead, because I know in the writer rate they kind of look like Frankenstein, a little bit, a little bit. The world, look how gorgeous this is. Again, Taurus, Leo, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Ace of Cups. I love this background and the little wafer that this pigeon dove that this dove is carrying. And the lotus flowers are so gorgeous, such a nice addition. Two of Cups. Three of Cups, such a nice card. I love how expressive this is. You can see their expressions, they're, they're having a good time, they're celebrating, they're living their best moment. Four of Cups, you can see his expression. I love how expressive these cards are. You can really, for me, that helps reading into it a lot. This has helped me, um, memorize and learn the feelings that are associated with the card five of cups and i have to say the card stock is maybe slightly flimsy six of cups sharing nostalgia seven of cups such a this is really cool you get to see all the details in this little dragon jewels the laurel castle not sure what he is. The ghost, snake, eight of cups, turning away. Again with that blue gold background. I love that background. Such a nice way to represent night. Nine of cups, self-satisfaction. It's little, you can see it in his face. He actually looks like a friend of mine. Ten of cups, such a nice, and the rainbow right there. Such a nice, happy card. I love this card page of uh, cups. I love the fish. You can see his face. Knight of cups. Queen of cups. Mm. Mermaids. Merbabies. I love how she's looking at us. Like she's looking at the camera if it, if it was a photo. King of cups. And you can actually see a little red sailboat. Ace of Pentacles. Love this. You could see how the cups was more of a blue color. The border. Uh, and now the border is shifting to a green. Two of Pentacles balancing. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Share your coins. I mean, I know you earned them and all, but... Six of Pentacles. They really look 
like they've been through it. And this one has the least amount of gold, just these little parts right here. But I like that because it shows, for me, when I read into that, it shows that once you get over your pride and realize that you're never truly alone, that always someone, someone has your back, that you go into the church and seek help, you will find what you need. Six of Pentacles sharing. Love that scale again. And you can see his face. Seven of Pentacles. You can see his face. Meh. Mm. Waiting. Eight of Pentacles. Such a nice card. Hard at work. Nine of Pentacles. You can see a bird right there. I love her expression. Love the expressions on these cards, and I like the pattern in her dress. These cards are very warm and uh, orangey, and it complements the gold really well in the card. Uh, this one has a little bit of gold right here. The dogs, look how happy, even the dogs look expressive. Come on. The art is by, oh, it comes in Italian, Spanish, French, and Portuguese. Artwork by Guglia F. Massaglia. Instructions by Lune Weatherstone. Back to the cards. Page of Pentacles. Look at that face. Oh, look at the freaking flowers there. Gorgeous. Knight of Pentacles. And I love the little plants on the horse. Queen of Pentacles. Nice spin on this card. Love the bunny. Her throne. This little, I want to say, cherubim. And the pears. I love the detail. King of Pentacles. Big Taurus energy. BTE. Ace of Wands. Love that. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. You can see the color has shifted more to red. So I think that if you're learning, this is a really good, you know, sign. So water is with um, emotions and blue and pentacles are with earthly matters so it has to do uh with green and uh wands is all about passion and uh that fire inside of you so it's red four of wands love that you can see people in the background for this card look at that little accomplishment good for them five of wands playful competition Com small battles that lead to bigger battles and you can tell they're into it they are fighting six of wands i love his laurel his laurel on his head and on his staff and that horse looks detailed love that horse seven of wands standing your ground eight of wands i i'm blanking out on this card but i love how i believe directness has directness and quick action i believe that's what it is nine of wands Ouch. Ten of Wands. Burden. Burden from accomplishment. You know, biting more than you could chew. Page of Wands. Ah, oh, I love that fabric. Knight of Wands. Charging into battle. And I love how fiery his tail looks right there. Queen of Wands. Look at her face. She knows who she is. Little lions in the back. Black cat right there. King of Wands. Love that. You can see the salamander eating itself. Salamanders were said to walk through fire, be able to walk through fire. Salamanders are also on his his robe. And there's a little salamander right there. What is that? Is that a bear? A tiger? And our last two ace of swords. You can see it's blue now. Intellect. The mind. Two of Cups. Love the detail in this card in her skirt. Mm-hmm. Three of Swords. I love that. And the clouds. I like how each sword has a different uh, end piece. Four of Swords. I love this card. I love how the stained glass window has little speckles of gold. Love this card. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Thief! Thief! Somebody stop him! Look at his face. Eight of Swords. 
She can get out if she wants to. But she's bound herself. And she's blinded herself. Nine of swords. Mm. Ten of swords. Very tragic card. Page of swords. That air flowing through his hair. Very airy. Now he's charging into battle. Knight of swords. Look at that. Force and direction. Queen of swords. Look how cold her face looks. I love that. And finally, King of Swords. Gorgeous deck. Uh, no gilding on the sides. I feel like maybe that would have been an interesting touch, but you could always do that yourself with some gold paint. Maybe it'll be a part of my bonding process with this deck because it is new. I've already saged this deck. I've had Citrine, Black Tourmaline, Labradorite, and Quartz sitting on it. Um, so I feel as though it, it's a pretty clean slate as far as energy. Let's look at this manual. How to use the cards. Hindsight, look at your past. Insight, look at yourself. Foresight, look forward. Instead of uh, interpretations of the cards, it has explanations of the scene, which is helpful in terms of creating your own meanings for the cards. I feel as though having every detail pointed out and you being able to interpret it leads to a stronger interpretation. For example, I think Two of Swords is very defensive energy, but I know that's not the tr traditional meaning. So you have the Major Arcana, and you get into the Minor Arcana. I don't believe this comes with any spreads, so you're going to have to use your own, or find your own spreads if you're into that. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I will leave the link to where I found this deck. I am so pleased with my purchase. I cannot wait to start bonding with this deck. If you're interested in hearing about how I bond with my decks, how I break in a new deck, please let me know. I would be more than happy to share that, and especially with this new deck. Just a final look at that. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this was helpful. You can find my Instagram linked down below. Subscribe, because I will be doing some tarot readings soon. And you could always personally message me or uh, leave a comment if you're interested in a free reading. So give it a thumbs up if you found it useful, and I will talk to you later. Bye!